A cousin of mine was a very good basketball player when he was young. Kaya nga lang, he met a car accident and um, naging physically disabled siya and he had to stay in, the, in a wheelchair for several months. And while he was able to regain the ability to walk, he could never play competitive basketball again. But being the sports lover that he is, he decided to focus his energies on another sport. He started to run. When he became comfortable with it, he started pushing himself to run long distances. From 3K, he went 5K, then 7K. Before long, he was running 10 kilometers. And soon, he was running the 21K marathon. For someone who used to sit on a wheelchair, I mean, that was quite a feat. In long distance race, most marathoners say that the last mile is the killer. The mind begins to play tricks on you. You're exhausted and weak. You're short of breath. It is the last mile that tests the marathoner's physical and psychological mettle. It shows the stuff he's made of. And I think there's a great similarity between marathons and a challenging project at work. You know, you usually start strong, uh, full of hope and confidence of doing a good job. Uh, then you encounter problems along the way, but you deal with them and you push on. But if you've been working at it for a while, you begin to get tired. Uh, you're no longer as sharp as in the beginning. Problems pile up. Your project schedule slips. Your targets are being missed. Customer complaints start to come, and your boss begins to breathe down your neck. At the final stretch of the project, you're not sure if you're going to make it to the very end. We feel these kinds of apprehensions, not only in our jobs, but also in the pursuit of our careers. They also happen in life in general. When we begin to be you know, overwhelmed with problems, we don't know if we're going to make it to the finish line. In marathon, it is not so important to be first in the race as to finish it. It is such a difficult sport. It's grueling. It's punishing for the, for the runner. That finish is an achievement in itself. It is a sport where even the last person to cross the finish line is given recognition. It is so similar to your career. It is also very much like life. In your projects, in your career, and even in life, you need to finish well. A career is a lifelong pursuit. As you navigate your career, there will be all sorts of challenges along the way. There will be seasons of discouragement, of failure, of defeat. But even if you fall, you can pick yourself up and get back to the race. You push on. You can recover lost ground and find your groove back. It is possible for you to find your second wind and build the momentum to finish well. Such it is in your career. The same is true in life, especially a life lived for God. A New Testament writer compared living a life faithful to God to a race. And in this race, we must run with endurance. We can read this in the book of Hebrews. It is said, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Stay strong in the face of challenges. Press on. When you fall down, pick yourself up and get back in the race. Run with endurance. Finish well. Because in the race of our careers, and even in the race that we call life, especially as we go for the finish line, faith matters too.